Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on iMindMap 9 where we're going to look at adding attachments or attaching files and links and so on. So let's open up a, a map, click on this one. That's what it looks like in mind map view and that's what it looks like in bubble view or fast capture view. Let's get rid of that, make it bigger and off we go to the right hand panel. You can see the four icons down here. You've got the um, the outline panel, adding attachments, icon library and notes. So we're on the paper clip, we're adding attachments and this is what you can add. So you can add a file for example and how do you add a file? Well you could theoretically you could type the name there or you click on the plus and up pops some of the um, the explorer and you can choose from there. So for example I could choose um, let me see, I could choose a picture. <clears throat> and what happens? Well, a little globe thing appears here. And if you click on that, you get a link to it. And if you click on that, up comes, in this case, my image processing program, which is going to open that image. There it is. So it sounds a bit convoluted, but it could be useful if that's what you want to do if you want to have a record of it. Of course, the attachments here, you probably wouldn't be clicking very often on the attachments here, but if you pop over to mind map view, the attachment you've just added is of course there. If I can find it, where is it? There it is. I attached it to the central image. So it's not necessarily something you're gonna use much in the bubble mode, which is more about getting your ideas out fast, but the option is there. And if you have added any links in other modes, like the mind map mode or the brainstorm mode, they will still be accessible here. Um, other types of file you can add, well, you can actually bring in the, the files here, the Explorer in this way, and um, choose from there, I think. Let's see if I click on something like this, what happens? Nothing, it opens it up there. So the best thing to do is to open it up from here. And click, it arrives there, it's been attached to this globe, so now there are two links. So if you do click on that now, the video will open up. There's no uh, sound on that particular one. And if you open up a, uh, if you want some sound, you could click here again and add a sound file. And sure enough, there are three links there. And if you click on the sound file, it should theoretically play. Uh, it's not playing here, to my knowledge, because I haven't got the sound on. Maybe you can hear it, I'm not sure. We'll see in the playback. What else can you do? Well, let's click another bubble. You can add an email. And I guess the email, you can just type it in like this. click return and there it is. And if you click on that, you get a link to the email. What happens when you click on that? Well, to be honest, I'm not totally sure. I What happens in my program is that it opens up Google. So that's one to, uh, to look at. Either it's a record for that, or perhaps there's a way in which you can get it to open up your email program, I'm not sure. You can also add folders. So if I click on folder, it's asking me for a folder. I click, click on there. It's giving me the intro folder that you've already seen open. And if I do click on that, you've got the link. Now, click on the icon in the, the queen bubble and you've got a link to that folder. And if I click on that, it brings up the folder of whatever you've got in the folder. So that could be useful for quickly opening up a whole load of stuff. Let's take another bubble and let's add a web link. Guess what I'm going to type? Mindmapmad.com and of course there it is. You can click on that, you click on that, and although you didn't see it there, it opened this up. Let me show you that again. So I click on that, and the window pops up and loads automatically whatever it is you 
typed in there. So that's great again for giving presentations where you just want to bring stuff up immediately and all the links are in your mind map. And obviously, if you change over, sheer heart attack, you can see the link is there with exactly the same effect. I can bring it up as many times as I like. If you go to the brainstorm view, sometimes it's not well positioned and you either have to drag it or you can click this thing down in the bottom right to center it. And sheer heart attack is there. There's the link. And you don't get something popping up there. You have to go over here manually onto the right panel and click on that. And up it comes again for the umpteenth time. So uh, the moral of the story is links are cross view. You put them in one and you can get them in the others. Okay, let's have another one. Jazz. What else can you add? Well, you can add, uh, let me see. You can add a mind map and from the iMindMap cloud if you want. Now, what happens if I do click on this? I click there, or maybe I have to click on the plus. Now for this, you have to have an iMindMap account and it has to be, you have to be connected to it. And if you are, like I am, up pops a list of all your maps which are sitting on the cloud, accessible from anywhere where you have access to it through a copy of iMindMap. So I am attached, I am linked to, to my, my cloud account and these are some of my maps. And what happens if I click on that? All right, I'll click on this one and select it, Leo's Mind Maps. And there's the little link. And what happens if you click on that? You get a link to that map. You click on it and it opens. Now, what we're looking at here is a mind map, a very simple one, which is not on my computer. It's on the cloud. So that's a nice way of attaching to stuff which is accessible to other people as well. You see, it's a new map there. Okay, back to this one. And I think we're about done. Now, what's showing here is not all of the links. You see, web link, iMindMap cloud, email and file. You think they've disappeared, where are they? Well, you have to do some jiggling and maybe click there and click there and you get these other ones back. So sometimes things disappear somewhat strangely and you wonder where they've gone. And you have to maybe click somewhere and then click back and you'll find them again. So that's basically what you get for attaching uh, links of all sorts. So there's a web link, we've done that, and it opens up the web page. There's iMindMap Cloud. You put a link to a map, an iMindMap on your cloud account, which has to be open. And if you click on that link, it opens that map. Email, that's still a bit of a mystery to me. I'm not quite sure what happens there. I think it's supposed to open up maybe your email uh, uh, account to send an email to somebody. I have to check on that. File, you can add any file you like. Folder, you add a folder which opens up with all everything that's in it. And audio, oh, we haven't done that. Audio isn't about attaching an audio file. You do that in the file option. Audio is about recording something. So let's, um, let's record something. Hello? Hello? We will, we will rock you. I am in Queen, aren't I? I hope so, yeah. And um, as embarrassing as that might seem, where did I record that, here? No, in jazz. Yeah, so if I click there, now it doesn't open up as a link on the mind map or on the in the bubbles. You have to go over here and click on that. And embarrassingly, let me just turn the volume on. Will we will rock you? I mean, there it is. is. Yeah. So I don't know if you could hear that, but that was me singing "We Will Rock You" badly. And that's it for attachments. You can add all of these things. And to be honest, you wouldn't really do much of that in this mode. You wouldn't really exploit it much in the bubble mode. It's more a case of if you quickly do want to attach something or access something in bubble mode that you've attached, you can. But this isn't really what bubble mode's about. All right. See you next time. Bye bye. Well, that was a bit of a rambling video, I'm afraid. But um, I hope you got something out of it. These are all one take wonders. I don't believe in spending too much time going uh, 
going over and trying to make everything perfect. That's a bit what this this program's about. You know, you play around, you change modes, you think of things, you think of new things, you change your mind, change it back. And um, that's part of the fun. All right, so see you next time. Bye-bye.